What is going on, Jeff fans? We are at the bye week and the trade deadline coming up soon. So I know there's going to be lots of options thrown out there, potential Jets trades that they could make for uh, big names or whatever. Um, but typically <laughs> how it goes is the trade deadline comes and goes and the Jets will sign a couple of players here and there that you've never heard of. And they need some offensive line depth with Joe Tipman's injury status in limbo and ABT out for the year. And uh, at least here's a guy that we've heard of, and that's Justin Pugh, who was a former first round pick uh, about nine years ago and has bounced around the league, has got a ton of starts under his belt and has played every single position on the offensive line besides center and uh, was plucked off the street for the New York Giants and elevated off their practice squad. And he played uh, Sunday night. And you know what? <laughs> He's got 77 snaps this year, two pressures, one sack allowed. Um, some of his analytics in a small sample size are better than some uh, of the Jets offensive linemen and they need somebody. And if it's not him, it's probably going to be Chris Glasser. Who exactly? So would we rather some UDFA in their second year who's never seen the light of day in the league or a mostly pretty much washed veteran who's got some experience? Who would you rather be your break glass in case of emergency offensive lineman? Uh, I think Pew is is worth a, a shot because he's still back on the on the Giants practice squad. So if the Jets want to give him a spot on their fifty three, they can take him now. Well, he didn't. He's not even good enough for the Giants to commit to him, so he must suck. Okay, maybe, but also are the Giants the best evaluators of offensive line talent in the league? So a little bit of a two sided coin there. Uh, and you'd have, obviously you would have the whole. Um, we sign him now. He's got the whole bye week to get himself into game shape. Maybe he can help you out in a pinch. Obviously, you'd hope that he would never have to play. But they're going to add somebody, and it's probably going to be somebody who isn't very good. And they worked out Lyle Collins, and so did the Giants. And I think if Lyle Collins were healthy, he would have a job in this league, but he does not, so that might be it for him. A couple of other players, there were two su surprise cuts yesterday on the defensive side of the ball. And uh, these guys probably not um, signed to the Jets' active roster. Um, but definitely worth offering a spot on the practice squad if they're open to it. First, the Arizona Cardinals released um, 2022 third round pick MyJ Sanders, who a little bit of a tweener, uh, 6'5", 235, uh, didn't know if he was an edge or an off-ball linebacker coming out of college. And hey, if there's one thing about this this staff, I trust them to develop as a, as a defensive tweener. So if he wants a spot on the practice squad to resurrect his career under Robert Sala's tutelage, that would be uh, more than worth a flyer on him, in my opinion. And then Jalen Hawkins, uh, safety for the Atlanta Falcons, 26 years old and 22 starts in four years and including 16 starts in 2022, but has been relegated to a backup in their remade secondary. And he was released today. So again, are you going to replace whatever Tony Adams or Jordan, Jordan Whitehead or even Ashton Davis with this guy? Probably not. But if he wants a spot on the practice squad to as a potential pipeline player um, for next year or in case we suffer multiple injuries this year, I think both of those guys are worth uh, a shot on the practice squad. And Justin Pugh might be uh, you know, the best we can do without having to give up trade capital for some offensive line depth. And we'll talk ball soon.